Welcome back to another episode. Today, I want to get, I'm pretty excited for this little feed. I want to get these cockbirds into their boxes. Um, at least the four boxes up there. So we'll get the four cockbirds that we want to get in there. We'll get them up in there and I'm going to try and leave them in there for a few days. I'm just going to give them a feed down here first with everyone. Once they're finished, then we can move them up into those boxes. I need to get some little um, little drinkers in there for them as well. So we'll get that organized and then we can sort out the four males that we do want to set up and we'll put them up there and lock them in those boxes and separate them from the girls because I do want to change the pairs so sometimes this can be really easy and sometimes it can be pretty tricky so what I'm going to try and do is just I'm hoping we can do it pretty easy sometimes a couple days or it could be a week or so but we will push through it and try and pair these guys up with some new hens um, we've got plenty of young birds from pretty much the pairs that we've already got put together now. Um, we really need to get them into different pairs so we can test them out and see what's going on. And, you know, a little bit of colour project, but a little bit of performance as well. So eventually we've got a few birds to, to race when we get to that point. Um, but we definitely need to build the flock up, which is going to be pretty good. They're starting to look pretty good. They've had uh, quite a long break between breeding. So they are definitely keen to get back into it. So we'll come back in a minute when they've had their little feed and we'll put the males in their boxes and just see how they go. So this here is pair number one mentioned in the video previously. Um, the hen on the left there is Leo and Storm's baby. You can see uh, pretty telltale that it is her. And we've got um, one of the cockbirds on the other side was a gift. Comes from pretty good, I'm pretty sure it's Gaby. I've got to double check my books. Um, it's either a pure Gaby or a Gaby cross, but I think he might be the pure Gaby. Um, he is a very beautiful bird. You can see the the stance on him is fantastic. So it'd be interesting to see how he goes. So I'm gonna leave him in this nest box because he's already claimed that one. But what I might do is separate him from the hen for a few days like I have done with the rest of them. I'd like for them all to actually sit down at the same time. So I'd like to give them all nest bowls at the same time um, just so that we get all the babies out at the same time. So I'm not bringing two babies out here, two babies there. So that, hopefully that's the plan we can achieve that but that is plan number one so we've got um this nice little hen from leon storm here it's looking quite nice pearl eye and then we've got um her partner here so definitely paired up and ready to go those two but i'm gonna take that hen out shut this door and bring some drinkers in after i get these cocks into their boxes i've right, got her out of there so let's shut it up just lock him in there You'll be right. We're going to feed him and water him in there as well. So um, he's going to be perfectly good in there. And we do have this next box. I'd save this one. I know that um, Shock's already claimed this one. So we might move him into there and then just lock him in there. But if we're lucky, he'll go in there. So good boy. We just need to take Storm out of there because you can't have Storm. Sorry, buddy. No, no. You guys. I need to change that actually because when they were stacked on top that one is here so shock you're in your box two done i need to get titan in one i'm pretty sure titan was up in this one no, actually that's your lock there what am i talking about um it's this one that doesn't have one that we need to put in there probably take that one from up there put it down there but we need to get um shock titan in that one and maybe leo can go in this one hey okay let me move that over there for a second so they're all hens there, bar one blue bar cockbird. So we've got a little bit of a mucking around there to do to change it up a bit. We'll bring over the first cock, his little water drinker. We'll put that um, over in there for now. So we've got to, to the gaby one in there. And this girl's getting a little bit wild. And we've got big titan. Whoops. 
a little bit of water spilt there, that's all right. He's a bit wild too, he doesn't like being in there. No, come on big fella, calm down, all right? You need to just deal with that for a little bit. Snip, but once it's all over, just can it all go back to where he was meant to. We're all a little bit flighty in here at the moment, which is not ideal. I'll settle down in a minute. Shock, you need to stay in there, big boy. Come on, no, yeah, come on. I know you're a wild fella and you like to show off, but you need to... No, come on, just stop, stop, stop. All right, this is only temporary. You'll get a new lady soon. And last one is Leo. Hopefully, I'm not expecting as a hostile reception as I did with the other cockbirds there. He's generally a bit more calm, but obviously there's a few changes in the loft and things like that. Um, so that's probably why he's a little bit, well the others are anyway, but he's alright. So, Gavey Bluebell Cock, Bluebell Cock which is Titan, Leo Hermans. We've got, um, I'm pretty sure Staff Van Reet, big shock his, his um, family's doing quite well for Adam at the moment. I'm sure he'll put videos up soon. Um, some of those young birds will win some races. And then we've got um, big Leo in here, which is Leo Hermans as well. So two Leo Hermans, Gaby and Staff Van Reet. So those four cockbirds are in their boxes and they're gonna stay in there for a few days. And the next thing we'll be to do is to pick some hens. That's one of the blue bar Leo Hermans hen that she might be on the chopping block, she might go. Um, but we've got a whole bunch in here. That cockbird there, he is going to disappear soon. And that'll leave us with those few little hens that we just got to sort out. And there's one of our Barless Project hens, which will go out in the box in the back. So we're definitely getting there. Well, I suspected it's a hen. She's a very aggressive one anyway, but her mother was very aggressive. And then we got these boxes as well, but before I go any further here, make sure you head down the description, check out the other channels and links if you want to follow me, Ken. Um, I just moved this over before, got these two little things here. Um, moved it in a bit of shelter spot because I was in the weather over there. But it's looking pretty good. I, I prefer this height. Much easier to work on than kneeling down, especially as you get a little bit older. It's not fun being on the ground all the time. Um, so we've got the two little things in there and um, you've seen them before there's a few cobwebs in here that we need to tidy up and I might give this a bit of a spray and a disinfect we gave it a bit of a clean before but she's been sitting in the paddock for a little bit now um, so we've got these two pens which are pretty much ready to go once we give it a take all the little spiders out of there I actually really like these little pens we could definitely look at building uh, a whole big set of outdoor pens later on maybe i don't know we've got plenty of options i definitely like this height and you know sort of like this so it's another option we could got the space for it so we'll think about it but definitely like how this one's sitting where it is um see how we go with that one anyway so the only thing i need to do now is um i need to pick two leo and storm babies that we've got over in the flying loft that we can bring over into here and we can start setting them up we might do that tomorrow uh, our first priority was to get those four sorted sort out the few pairs in there because i only want the pairs in there the, the four pairs so i only want those eight birds um in there pretty much so that there's not other ones in there causing trouble and mucking around so um we definitely need to get these set up. So those ones are sweet. We need to set these up. So probably the barless hens will probably go in here. And then we'll probably just need to bring in two Leo Storm cockbirds. And I, there is a lot of checkered cockbirds in there. So it's not going to be hard. I've just got to pick out the ones that are throw the best of um, Leo. And then we can start breeding um, another round of splits, which is going to be pretty fun. I definitely need that next round of splits going on. It's going to be pretty exciting. We'll just have a quick look at these guys here. They, um, I've been flying them quite a bit and I'm going to treat you guys with a video very soon. So we, there is quite a few birds in here. I'm estimating, I haven't actually counted them, but there's probably about 35 to 38 in here. There's one that we might use there. I think that's 83 if you guys remember, 83. Uh, I think there is a cockbird in here as well, blue bar. I have to see if I can find him. He's actually really nice. There's big beefcake there at the front. Um, these birds are looking all really good. But there is one blue bar somewhere in here. I don't know where he is. There's too many. I have to get in there and have a bit of a look later. Um, 
and he is from Titan, one of Titan's first babies. He was one of the babies that escaped out of this loft. First bird to actually fly around this property. He's in here somewhere and he's an actual stunner. So I might even consider him, but I'd prefer, see there's 83 here. Um, he's a cockbird. I've seen him chasing hens before, so he could be a prime, prime one to bring into one of those boxes. He's very friendly as well, but he is a very nice bird. Hey, beautiful little bird that one. Um, still here too, he's had a few close calls, but don't forget, head to the description. I'm gonna see you all in the next video. Um, hopefully I'm gonna treat you guys with a bit of flying. If you haven't checked the stories, I'm putting a few stories up of these guys flapping around, um, so stay tuned. I'm gonna get them out. I'm gonna get this video up for you as well. See you tomorrow.